Hello, hello, it's Steve from Flip Screen Games. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your Steam Deck using open source plugins and themes so you can transform its look from this to this. We're gonna go over how to install plugins and themes. We'll look into audio packs and then I'm gonna to touch on some of my favorite plugins. So by the end of the video, you'll know everything you need in order to customize your Steam Deck exactly how you want. Now, before we can install the Decky plugin loader, we're gonna to need to enable developer mode if you haven't already. Now, to do this in gaming mode, you go to settings, and then we're gonna scroll down to system, and we're gonna turn on developer mode. This then unlocks a new menu that we can scroll down to called developer. And from here, we're gonna to wanna to turn on CEF remote debugging. And this is gonna allow us to install the Decky plugin loader. And to do that, we're gonna head over to desktop mode. So I'm gonna click power and then switch to desktop. Here we are in desktop mode. And I'm going to open up Firefox and go to deckbrew.xyz. We're going to click on to Decky Loader on the left, and then we're going to follow the installation instructions. This is going to just walk you through the instructions, but it's very, very simple. We're just going to copy this command here, and we're going to open up and paste this into the console. So click on the copy button. We're then going to go down to the Steam icon for the application launcher. And we're going to search for console. That's K-O-N-S-O-L-E. We're going to open up the console. Now, before we paste that command, we're going to need to set a password for our Steam Deck. By default, there is no password set by SteamOS. And we can do this very simply by running the password command. Now, that is P-A-S-S-W-D. This is going to allow us to set a password. Now, in my case, I've already set this up because I've run through the Decky install before. Uh, enter in my existing password, and then I'm going to type in the new password that I want to set it to. So my password's been set. So now what I can do is I can paste in that command that we copied from the Deck Brew website. You can see it's asked for the password that we just set. If I type that in, it's now going to install the Steam Deck plugin loader. So we're going to let this install and do its thing. And then we'll head back over to gaming mode and I shall see you over there. Here we are rebooted back in gaming mode and you can see nothing really looks any different at the moment. But if we click on the dot 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 button to bring up the quick access menu, you'll see at the bottom we've now got a new plug icon. And this is decking. So this is where we can download and access all of the plugins that we've installed. What you're gonna to wanna to do at first launch is go to the little shop icon in the top right. And this is gonna bring up the plugin marketplace. From here, you can install a bunch of plugins. Uh, have a look through, see which ones take your interest. For customization, there's two that are really key. CSS Loader will allow you to download and install themes and tweaks to customize the appearance. And then there is an audio loader, which is kind of goes hand in hand with the CSS loader and installs audio packs, which completes the customization with the theme. So we're going to go back out to Decky and go to CSS loader. And you can see here, I've already installed a bunch of themes that I'm going to go through in a little bit. You can click on manage themes. And from here, this will bring up a theme manager. You can browse and sort through the most popular or the last updated. And there's a whole wide variety of themes in here. There's system-wide themes like Phantom or the Wii theme. And there's also a bunch of tweaks which will hide up the ed edge fade, allow you to round out specific elements or hide elements such as the playtime or if you wanted to hide, say, for example, some of the, the elements that Steam includes like the game shine on box arts if you want it to be a little bit cleaner. So going back out to Decky, we'll turn on the obsidian theme, which allows us to set the base main color to black or, or a variety of other colors. So there's a bunch of options in here, but I'm gonna set it to be black. And this will look really nice on uh, if you're using something like an Ionio 
you'll be able to really take advantage of the OLED display. And I'm going to also turn on the phantom theme. Now, again, we have a bunch of color choices. I'm going to choose the traditional red color, which is the, the Joker color. And you can see this makes it styled up to be like a Persona 5 theme, which is really, really cool. Now, alongside this, there are some audio packs that we can install um, also from uh, Deki. So to get there, we're going to go, we're going to back out the CSS loader by tapping the back button. And I'm going to go to the audio loader. Now from here, I'm going to go to manage packs and then browse packs. And you can see there's a whole bunch in here. We can have the original Xbox pack, PS4 soundtracks. Uh, if we want to go back to the original big picture mode, um, but I'm going to scroll down and we're going to find the persona ones. Uh, the undertale ones are quite cool as well. Um, and I also really love the Wii Shop music, which we've got installed here. Um, I'm going to search for Persona. And you can see we've got a we've got the Persona 5 track uh, soundtrack here. Join the Phantom Thieves uh, of Hearts with this sound pack based on the UI from Persona 5. Complete your style with the Phantom theme on CSS Loader. So we've already installed the Phantom, Phantom theme. Um, so now I can go back out of here to Audio Loader. So we'll open this up. And we've got two options from the audio loader. There's the sounds, which are like the boop, boop, boop. So you'll hear as you click around the uh, interface. And there's also music. So music, uh, I haven't got any theme music for Persona. But I've installed the Wii music here. So I'm going to play this and um, we'll capture it. And you can hear what it sounds like. So if you miss that kind of whimsy that you <laughs> used to get with consoles, you can install music and have that play whenever you're on the menus. Uh, and then the sound packs, we've got Persona 5 sound packs here, and this will um, use sounds from the, uh, the game. So whenever I move around, you get that uh, menu sound that you got within Persona 5, and it's really, really cool to be able to customize it exactly how you want here. Uh, personally, um, I I don't ha change any of the sounds out, so I'm going to change these back. Um, and the same with the CSS. I'm not using any of these uh, these themes, but there are some really cool ones. Like the Outrun theme is is kind of like a cyberpunky style theme or vapor wavy theme. But the ones I like are just the, the tweaks really. So I like centered home, which will bring down the the game box art, so it'll center on the games. You can center on games or center on all. Uh, I like the no deck badge, and I'll show you why in just a second. I like the uh, rounded uh, theme, and here you can set the intensity of the round. I like five pixels, uh, and I'll show you what these do here. So now you can see our games are a little more centered in the screen. Uh, they've got a nice rounded border around them, and we don't have any of the, the when we hover on it, we don't have any of the compatibility. Uh, badges that Steam Deck adds. Uh, and the reason is I actually use, use the badges from ProtonDB. And this is another plugin that I've got installed that will allow us to pull up the ProtonDB badges. And you can see if I click onto this, it'll load up the, the page for Papers, Please in the uh, ProtonDB. Uh, and it'll sh it just gives us a lot more information, I find, than the official um, program um, badges. This was just another plugin I've got installed. Um, so if we go back out to, to Deki, you can see I've got ProtonDB badges installed and it allows you to set the badge size. So we can have regular, small or minimalist. And this just controls where it is. Uh, and we can set the badge um, position either in the top left or the top right. Um, minimalist allows you also to expand the label when you hover on it. So you see it's just in the top top right now. It says platinum if you hover on it, which is quite nice. It's a little bit more subtle, a little bit more out of the way. Um, there's also an, a couple of other tweaks that I want to uh, touch on. Pause games is really cool. So um, by default, when you tap home, it doesn't pause the game. This sends an escape key to the game. So it will pause the game um, before you end up going back to the home screen. I can imagine that Valve will incorporate this into SteamOS at some point, but for now it's not. Uh, and Vibrant Deck is another one that I want to touch on. 
Um, so if you find uh, coming from, say, the Switch OLED, for example, that games aren't quite as punchy as you would have liked, or the, the reverse might be true. If there's some games, like say you're emulating a GBA and it's one of those earlier games where um, the vibrancy was punched all the way up, Vibrant Deck allows you to set the saturation. And you can do this on a per game basis, or you can do like a global saturation, but it really does have an effect on certain games. Um, and it's, it's really great. Uh, so if you find, for example, that uh, you're missing some of that like vibrancy that you got from the, the Switch OLED, or if you're coming from another OLED device, it doesn't quite get you the same punchy look because you don't have those infinite blacks, those true rich deep blacks that you would get with an OLED screen, but you can get a little bit closer with Vibrant Deck and it's one of those um, extensions that I really, really like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful. If you did find it interesting or useful, please hit that like button down below. It really helps us out. And give us a subscription. We're going to be posting a lot more videos like this, but we also have our podcast, the Steam Deck podcast, where we talk all about Valve's hot handheld, the Steam Deck. It's well worth checking out. Um, and if you haven't already, check out our uh, tutorials on getting PlayStation 5 and Xbox Remote Play set up on your Steam Deck. Really, really useful stuff. Uh, and I shall see you all on the next one. Bye for now.